Uh, Gray's a clutch drum bearing. Uh, got an E clip right here. I'm going to pop it off. And it's good to have an extra one around. If you don't, that's fine. clip. Uh, it's not very expensive. Even OEM is not very expensive. But E-clip comes off. This washer. And then the clutch or the drive sprocket. This one happens to be a seven tooth. And then the clutch drum. bearing is inside this drum. Now, as we look inside this drum, like you can see that, it's, it's nasty. So we're going to clean that out. You'll have wood shavings and grease and all kinds of things like that. So, take a trench and just break that out and we'll wipe it out with a rag. Some saws, most saws, have a hole right in the end of the crank, and that's for a grease gun. I'll show you that right quick. All right, this one goes on the end of a standard grease gun, and it's got a real small point, and it fits in that hole in the end of the crankshaft give it just maybe a squirt that's all it takes but uh, we want to clean all that out that's the purpose of taking that off so we're cleaning it out all right once we clean that out we cleaned our bearing wiped it off and examined it also uh, and again that's maybe five bucks steel OEM and this is a, a farmer tech steel 660-066 and that's one of the first things that went down on this one but now that we've wiped everything down blown everything out just take a little bit of grease it doesn't take a whole lot back on with that now we're gonna we're gonna line up this groove with the oil pump drive gear. Uh, not real hard to do. Some people say it's not necessary, but I try to do it when I can. Some people just say slap it in and go. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing it right about in this position. A metallic ting there. All right, back on with the sprocket. It slips in place. The cup, uh, if you're familiar with a frisbee, the dish, the dish portion goes toward the saw. Uh, if that helps you, hope it doesn't confuse you. But the dish portion goes towards the saw. Wipe that out as well as possible, also. Place. Let me get you really close so you can see what's going on here. Alright, now we're going to put the E clip back in. There's really no wrong way to put it in. Uh, I sometimes will reverse it, it'll develop a burr on one side or the other, and just reverse it ever so often. 
We'll set that in there. Just a pair of needle nose pliers and pop it back in place. Sometimes. There we go. You heard the pop. So we're back in the groove. Turning. Uh, we'll fire the saw if it'll fire and the the uh, drum moving. We'll see if the oil pump's working. You should go to pumping oil. together right everything works wipe that off all right uh, greasing the clutch drum bearing and and cleaning it thank you for watching